Good morning, Twitch DDO Streamland. This is your host for DDO Wiki Talk with T13, Shoemaker. Um, not sure what we're going to do today. I just woke up five minutes ago, literally. Um, I had an alarm go off at 6.20, and then I missed the other two. I'm one of those, like, six alarm people. Um, so, what are we doing today? Let's see here. Um, let's make this background go away. Oh, so you can see my message from eight and a half hours ago. Um, good morning, Xander and Ma MacQuest. Um, so we're going to roll over our um, 500 turbine code from last week that nobody won because we didn't have at least 10 contributors to the stream. Um, let's get started with that right now. We need 10 contributors. And so far we've got Xander and... Maquist. So up to two so far. Um, give it a minute, see if we get any more early morning ones. Let's see here. All right, so no, n nobody else talking yet this morning. So let's shrink that down. Let's have a look at our recent changes on the wiki, see what we've had happen. And it looks like I need to update this. Reconnect. There it is, okay. Alright, so what's happened in the last week? Lots and lots of things. It's been a busy week on the wiki. We can go all the way down to November 9th. Um, we made it over the 250 mark. Picked up super user. Um. Don't forget to check out Movember, my Movember page, to support Team Turbine and the DDO Wiki. Um, and then you can see the URL to our playlist down here on the bottom. Oh uh, yeah, we did a whole bunch of... Huh. whole bunch of things for... Night Revels last week. Locus of all had some edits. Did some NCL. We had something we couldn't figure out. That might have been the week before. Um, yeah, that was the week before. And I figured that one out. All right, let's see here. 
let's see what else we got here. Mysterious ring. We made a new template this week, a new category. Probably take a Thursday spot. I believe Thursdays are empty. So we have Anne. Good morning, Anne. We're up to three already. That's awesome. That's a great start. All right, so ah, we did. I did a a change to the unique enchantment template, so I should probably work on that at least a little bit. God wants it. I don't know what I'm missing there, but okay. Let's see here. Um, so a lot of things that we did cleaning up, or I've, I've done this week cleaning up for a unique enchantment template change. Let's see here. JS for this. see it. Uh-huh. There it is. Alright, so we'll open that up. We've got some category sorting that we need to do. Not a lot to do today yet. Raid timer bypass hourglass. What's changing with that? I believe it has to do with the legendary quests that are coming. All right, so let's see here. U29 and Legendary Raids. Update 29 introduces Legendary Raiding to DDO, which are new raids that are CR31+. plus. For Legendary Raids, players will be able to bypass a three-day raid timer through use of a Legendary Raid Timer Bypass, which will be available in Silver and Gold Daily Dice as a rare chest drop and in the DDO store. Non-legendary raid timer bypasses will keep their current functionality in non-legendary raids, and we will not be adjusting their ability to be used consecutively. We've heard from the community about the impact that non-legendary RTBs have had over the past few years, including a desire by some to set usage limits 
on these timers. The feedback we've received on this subject has been often controversial and mixed, and we spent quite a bit of time discussing the issue internally. We prefer to allow current timers to function as they are without adjustment. The number of raid timer bypasses in the game is immense, partially due to duplication exploits of the past and partially due to the volume of timers given out in the past via daily dice in the 8th anniversary card event, which was too high. Regardless of the cause, we want to respond to the desire by the community to make sure our rating scene remains healthy and do it in a way that limits the impact on players' current timer functionality by making this change. So it looks like current RTBs will not work in the new Update 29 content, which is what it is. Um, I'm actually going to edit this page. And we are going to get rid of that space. And then we're going to add a space down here. Nope. And we are actually going to call this this section down here. We are going to call it Legendary Raid Timer Bypass Hourglass. And then we can update that when it actually comes out. So that's good for that. So Oh yeah, because it doesn't work in Chrome. So we're going to open a new tab. And we're just going to have to copy and paste. All right, so Last week I made a change. Good morning, Lyrical. And um, last week I made a change to one of our templates, the unique enchantment template, which has 381 pages in it. Um, that change required a minor update to all of the pages in it to update to the new template. And because I'm lazy and I didn't feel like typing in the same thing 381 times, I created a little JavaScript that will actually, uh, and it probably won't work in Chrome, but it, what it's designed to do is to get the page content. Um, right here. And then it's designed to take that page content and replace all of the strings that need to be updated. And then it's designed to check with the user if it finds a parameter that's supposed to be removed. Um, if it finds that what it's supposed to be removed and the person has said yes, remove it. Then it will get some information about the starting and endpoint of the section it's supposed to remove. It's, it'll remove that section by replacing the content of that section with nothing. And then it will set a counter so that it can re re repeat that process if the templates use more than one in a page. If the person says, no, don't remove it, then it will say, all right, I won't remove it. 
Finally, what it does is it takes that stuff that it's got stored in memory and it goes through and it edits the page and it will either let you know if it was a successful update and then it will refresh the page showing the difference or it'll say that it was not updated and it'll leave you right where you are. Um, and this is all based on activated by a link that you add. Um, so it adds a link to fix enchantments. So let's see if it'll work in in Chrome. But first, let's see how far we got. I believe I got through the Fs. Now, last week, since we didn't hit 10 people on the stream, um, I decided that I was going to allow moderators to be entered this week as a special thing to try to get to 10 people. So I am actually going to add Lyrical to the list as a contributor, and she has a chance to win the turbine points. So we're up to four now, because I am allowing moderators this week as a special event. So it looks like we get up to the Epic Eagle's Eye. Epic Lyle Mind Me. No, that's not it. Um, looks like we get up to F. So we're starting at E, F, G. So let's open up Ghostly. And you can see what it looks like. And it's not going to load. because I'm not loading it. Preferences. Let's do this. Uh, appearance. Custom JavaScript. And then recent changes. Uh, actually, we should be able to pull this out of the history. It should be user technical 13, go to there. Good morning, L. We'll add L to the list here. E L P E R E L P. -E. Hey, we're halfway there, and it's only 8:20. Awesome. So we'll copy this. We'll paste it in here. Save page. All right. Make sure that we refresh the page and then clear the browser's cache. All right. So now if we go back here and we clear the browser's cache. Control Shift R. Let's try this again. It didn't take. It's fighting with me. It doesn't want to load. I really should update these scripts to be Chrome compliant, but let's try Giant Slayer instead. Still not loading.
Let's go to the console and see if there's an error that it's showing me. Doesn't show me any errors in Chrome's console. I don't like Chrome's console very much. It doesn't show the errors like it's supposed to. All right, so what I'm going to do is let me copy this chunk of code and go here right into the console. Paste it in, hit enter. Okay, so we get fixed enchantments right here. Now clicking on this, page content contains is not a function. All right, so I can work on that later. It's just not gonna work in Chrome for me right now. Um, but instead, what I can do let's get a new Firefox window. That's my personal guild website that I made. So Doing it in Firefox, I am logged into my Shoemaker account. And I'll have to blow that up a little bit. And if we head down to G's here, we can open up Ghostly. Not working here. Why isn't it working here? Let's get rid of the little thing that makes sure the pages load first. I don't know why that's causing an issue lately, but it appears to be, so we're going to get rid of it. And now that we've changed the script, ah, good morning, Daniela. We can refresh. We can refresh. We can refresh. We can refresh. I'm only waiting for that to load. Let's add Daniela. Lowercase d. Six out of ten. Great start. Giant Slayer. All right, let's open the console, reload this page, and see why it's not loading. 
this is what it should do in Chrome. It should give me a list of all the things that are going on, but it doesn't. I don't know why. It's really annoying. Um, all the black ones there are, are network requests. I don't see any errors preventing it from happening. Did I not purge this out enough? Purge it a bunch of different ways over and over again. Eventually it's gonna work, right? It shows up over here on this page. So purge does it there. So if I head to category unique enchantments, it shows up there. Head to ghostly, I'm not showing up there. Let's type in purge and see what happens. There it is. So I can click on that, and it'll say found, is removed found from line one, okay. Page was updated, okay. And now I wait a minute and it will load the diff and it will show me the edit that it did. It added a space there, it got rid of found, which bumped up effect and note. And then it added a space there and there and there and there and there, which it shouldn't do. I need to fix that sometime. It's adding extra spaces. Those actually don't hurt anything, so I'm going to leave them, call it good. But there's a couple little bugs in the script, apparently. Um, Giant Slayer. Get those ones done. So I can actually go fix, 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 fix. And then I can go OK. And I can go OK, and I can go OK, and I can go OK. And this one I'm going to skip for now. And I'll say OK, I won't remove any more then. And pages were updated. OK, 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 OK. And you'll see on this one it just removed, well, on this one, there was a little bug, it removed found and an empty note. Um, it's not supposed to remove the empty notes, but it's empty, so it doesn't matter. Um, so I'm gonna leave that one alone. I was actually working on fixing that bug most recently and the spaces. So what do we get here? Removed an empty note, removed a found, that's fine. Uh, removed found, that's good. Remove found, and all the lines that go with it, that's good. Added some spaces, good. On this one, it just added some spaces. It didn't remove found because I told it not to. And the reason I did that is because the found on this one has Kenneth Crafting, Augment Slot, and it's got it's broken down into chunks, which the template doesn't do currently. Um, I'm actually gonna break this page up. This is a good place for us to actually do some editing. So let's cut this, shrink this down, head back over to here. All right, so edit good luck. And scroll down to the edit box. And what do we have here? Kenneth Crafting. All right. 
So we're going to open up the Canis crafting page. We're going to open up the augment slot page. Um, we've got good luck one, two, three, and four. I'm actually going to delete these lines. Plus one, plus one, BR, and then I'm going to take this, and I'm going to go copy, paste, 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 because I don't want these all to be in one section. I want it to be plus two, plus three, plus four. Go to external links on Kenneth Crafting, and we hit enter, edit, and we go to see also on augment slots, and we hit edit, and we do a show preview on this. And actually, we don't have need to have the notes. Eh, it doesn't hurt anything. Show preview, and this will break it into plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four which will actually use the template and it shows each of the items in each one. I like that better than what was there. Save page. But you'll see that there's no longer... Kenneth Crafting isn't listed in there and Augment Slots aren't listed in, listed in there. Now for Kenneth Crafting, we can do Good Luck Plus One and Plus Two, I believe. So we're going to... Add good luck plus one and good luck plus two. We're going to copy these because they're also available in augment slots. Um, and we're going to copy this down here. Copy, paste, paste, and now when we go back to good luck, once those finish loading, we can refresh the page, and I'll say 13, and augment slot and Kenneth crafting will be, crafting will be at the top. Um, you can't craft good luck plus three or four, but I, I believe you can get augments for plus one and two, and I believe you can also do Kenneth crafting for one and two. Um, you can actually look at augment slots here. Good luck. Plus one. Hmm. Purchasable augments. List. Alright, this is what I was looking for. Up here. So good luck is a blue augment, I believe. So at level 12, you get plus one. Oh, so there is no ah, level 20, you get plus two. Okay, so that verifies the um, oh, some pre slotted stuff there. That verifies that the plus one and plus two is for augment. Kenneth crafting. Um, if we go here and we say that we want searching, we want an effect of good luck.
this doesn't seem to be working. Reset. All right, so apparently this page is not working. Let's head over to the Kenneth crafting page. Um, I believe that I can go on a trinket. Good luck. And then if we go in here. G must be a suffix. Good luck one and two. So that verifies for me that it's a only plus one and plus two. So there's good luck. All right, I'm going to take my coffee break a little bit early today because I got up so late that my coffee wasn't brewed before I started. Um, I will be back in three minutes with coffee, and we can look up some more stuff. Um, we'll see you then. Wonderful, we're back. Um, let's see here. We got our Kenneth Crafting Augment, good luck. And you can see the edits made by myself on Technical 13 doing the other ones. It just shows up as modification and for changes in template unique enchantment. I'm gonna fix that script maybe today or tomorrow to um, not do the extra space after every equal sign and not remove empty notes because um, it'll actually remove full notes too, but those ones were empty, so it didn't matter. Um, I might even just completely change the way that it works and have it parse out each of the sections and then put them back in the correct order with or without sections that it needs. Um, but that's a longer project for another day. Um, so what else shall we work on? I had something else in mind I wanted to look at. Oh, what was the other thing I wanted to look at? I'm surprised we don't see Titan. I just commented in our team channel. We'll see what, what happens there. 
must be sleeping. Titan doesn't sleep. What are you talking about? If there's a stream on, he's all excited. He wants to be in it, which is, I think, awesome. Um, so recent changes. What else can we work on? Do you guys have any suggestions of things to work on? What's coming up here? Let's go to the home page real quick. We're at six out of 10, right? Yes, we are. Throw a little chat out there, see if we can get some more people. Uh, let's see here. Update 29 is coming. Hmm, there was some talk about removing this banner from the top of the page here and putting it in the sidebar. I'd have to do that on my Shoemaker account though. I'm not sure how I'd want to do it if I'd want to. How do I want to do that? I'll have to think about it some more, I guess. Uh, let's check out gadgets real quick. Yeah, uh, Halloween's over. I should probably get rid of that font. What's a good font? Let's see here. Um, that's an okay font. I can live with that. Uh, let's see here. Gadgets. Special pages. Oh, wait a minute. That might be why that doesn't work for me in Chrome right now. Hmm. Let's pop this up real quick. Head over to gadgets. Definitions and descriptions. Appearance, custom JavaScript, there's no more here, although I do want to open the page history for this, because I recently removed one from here. Uh, Like right there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some more test edits. Testing, edit. What did I remove? NS shortener. I removed NS shortener, huh? Let's add that to A, B, C, D, E, F, G, N, M, N, N, O, P. So NS shortener. NS shortener.js. We'll add that one. 
nothing else here that I need. Um, I do want code backlinks and code anchors, which are going to go up top. Code backlinks. Code anchors. And we are actually going to make those both default. Hmm. That's my edit counter that I could probably get working again. But it doesn't really belong in there. Edit that page. All right, so we can add those. And then if we come over here and we refresh this page. Scroll down to the bottom. We've got three new pages to create. And I'm actually going to use a copy and paste. It's just copy, paste, paste, paste. And this is going to be code backlinks, 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 anchors, namespace shortener, That's what that one does. Um, code anchors. description
what it does for now. I might add more links in the future. Somebody mentioned me in a channel. Ah, MacQuest mentioned me over on the Players Council channel, suggesting that Laurel Laurel join us, which would be wonderful. More the more the merrier. All right, so there's that one. There's that one. If I head over to preferences now, and I head to gadgets, at the bottom of the page you'll see that it added code backlinks, code anchors, and NS shortener. And these two are checked by default because I set them as default, and this one is not. So I can check that one and save it. All right, so if I go back over here, no double redirects, no wanted templates, lots of wanted categories. That's interesting. That might be something for us to work on. Uh, I believe that was a really low number before. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Um, we'll go to preferences here and gadgets and I like my namespace shortener. You'll see it also showed up here automatically. All right, so I don't need that anymore. Wanted categories, night shield items, shield, rage, shadow, a lot of items categories, which is awesome. That is great. Makes me very, very excited, even if most of them have only one member. Um, it'll help with categorization. It will help with the ability to find items. Daniela is Laurel. Ah, interesting. That's very good to know. My sneaky player council member, you. Actually, I think you might have told me that once before, but... Okay, um, let's see here. If we go like this and open this, we got 24 pages in here. We can do category listing, category items by effect, I think is what it's called and then this part is going to be a no include copy paste I don't care to watch it show preview um hmm two columns doesn't really work very well for that Let's make it three columns. See if that looks better. Not really. Let's make it one column. kind of a wall of text. Let's just let it go back two columns because I think that looks the best. All right, so there's that. And now Night Shield Items is in Items by Effect. Air Elemental Knockdown Items. Why is that empty? Why is this a blue link that's bold that changes when you click on it? I don't know. I'll have to figure that one out. That one's a technical thing that's probably really deep in the code. But if I click on... I don't have that in here, do I? That's not a, that's not, wait a minute, that's not a gadget already? It's not, that needs to be a gadget. 
So we need to add another gadget. Um, since these two are gadgets now, being used as gadgets, they don't need to be up there. I don't want to have them running twice. Input script sysop tools. That one is going to stay like that. List styles could probably become a gadget. Let's do that actually. Let's put list styles into this one right here. Chop that one out. Alphabetically, it would go right here. Delete that. Delete that. Um, I don't want that to be default. So that's something you'll have to add on your own. I'm going to shorten this one while I'm here. And then copy. And paste and copy, paste, paste, delete. description and preferences gadgets not default so I have to add it reload not default so I have to add it Let's look at the history and see if I can figure out who created it and why. Joe Nuts created it on January 2nd, 2014. So it's probably part of a bulk update. So January 2nd, 2014. So I want 2014, January and earlier. So... I sorted here. Uh, lots of stuff he did in January 2nd. That most recent thing that I just did for list styles, see how it's a bullet list here? If I wanted to turn that into a number list, I could click on this little list style thing up here. And it should turn those into numbers. 
but it doesn't in Chrome. So I will have to fix that. It also has a hotkey of Alt, Shift, um, Tick. That's a tick. So Alt, sh Alt, Shift, Tick, but it doesn't work. So that's okay. Uh, no, January 2nd, added a whole bunch of stuff as part of, did some page moves, I'm guessing it was a project he was working on, item display ammunition, item display templates, I'm guessing it has something to do with this. So, is what it is, I guess. Um, we're done with that. One of categories. Night shield item should be gone now, because we added some stuff to it. And we're up to shadow walk. So let's create pages for a couple of these. At least the ones that have more than one item. Apparently there's a lot. And this is the fun of bulk wiki editing. Make sure we got them all. We did. We got some spells that need to be updated, but we got a lot of tabs up here. So we're just going to start with tab number one. We're going to do category listing, no include, category items by effect, no include, copy, paste, save. Scroll down, paste, paste, click, save. So when I hit save page, I'm hitting control tab, take me to the next tab, clicking on scroll down, clicking in the box, control V, summary, control V, unclick that, save, control tab. It's just a process I'm doing over and over again. I could actually use a bot to do this. But I don't have one set up on this computer. Um, and building the list would take a little bit of time. It usually does. Oops, I forgot to uncheck sh sit, watch this page on that one. Oh well. I could actually even set up a keyboard macro for this. <sighs> nah. It's quicker just to do it.
unfortunately, because they're new pages and I'm not an administrator, it doesn't allow me to mark them as minor. But that's okay by me. Isn't this exciting? Rapidly editing multiple pages. <laughs> Indeed. More than halfway there. It's called keeping up the good fight. Apparently there's two rock strength items. Interesting. Ah, uh, the regular and the epic, I bet. We're up to nine viewers, but we only have six people on our list here. So who are we missing? If you're watching and you haven't commented in chat yet, you need to do so in order to get a chance to win the 500 turbine points. We need at least five, 10 people to have a chance to roll for the turbine points. So if you're sitting there and chat, uh, sitting there just watching and you haven't chatted yet, please get a, a, a post up there in chat. We'll be doing the drawing in about 45 minutes if we have 10 contributors. And I've even lifted the non-moderator restriction this week because we didn't have enough people last week. Click through, make sure that they all save properly. That's why I'm not rapidly clicking. I'm taking a chance moment to look at each one. Nope, that one didn't hit, hit, hit save. And that's why I was going slow to make sure that there wasn't one that clicking save didn't go through. And we take that 162 and we refresh the page. And we're down to 103. We just did 59 edits in a matter of a couple minutes. Um, 
just going through and creating item pages for things with multiple items. If somebody wanted to go through and do all the rest of them, the ones that have item on the end, that would be fine. It's exactly the same thing. Um, so we take a look at recent changes here. Ah, Yoko's editing this morning as well. Made a couple changes to Legendary. Category Legendary Raids. Is there anything in there yet? At this point, you can see that the what the recent changes is pretty much littered with my own edits. You can actually filter your edits out by hitting hide my edits. That way you can see what other people have done. Old raid timer bypass hourglass does not work on legendary raids. Legendary quests. Nothing there yet. Okay. Nothing in there yet. And you can see the other stuff that's that's happened. He also did a category legendary quest back at eight o'clock. Ah, Christopher G. Lewis did some editing this morning. To Iron Defender and the Vaughn Five things. And a few other defenders. Looks like he made the same edit to most of them. Or one of two edits. He either added MM type Iron Defender or just the Iron Defender. Okay. So these should be ah, all listed in there now. Good morning, Assassinor. About time you showed up. Ha ha ha. Let's add you to the list for the TP code giveaway. It's one of my guildies that has been short on turbine points to be able to buy content. I said, make sure you show up for the show and contribute. So there's a, there's another one. We're up to seven. We need three more. Three more people. Ah, Steel Store Star is awake this morning. Commenting in um, Players Council channel. Ah, there's another one. Good morning. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Time difference messed you up. Uh, I don't know. So there's eight. Two more to go. Two more. And then we'll have enough people to do our role at the end of the hour. Ah, time for a sip of coffee. So Fix Enchantments is showing up now. But it's not doing anything, right? Head over to my vector here. Ah, that's good to know. Ah, sweet. Now this is working. Um, because I added that as a, a gadget and enabled it. Unique item enchantment, that's a link now. And it gives you an edit and a what links here. I want to add a history and a few other things there as well, but I haven't gotten there yet. So we did G, Ghostly and Giant Slayer, I believe are done. Last job, bodily, godly. I think we actually did all of those, didn't we? I know we did. All right, so we go back up here. We've got all these redirects, which I actually already took care of. Although, I'm going to take a look at them again. Oh. Good luck minuses, huh? So 
does anything actually link here? No. So I'm going to do now is, uh, I don't have it enabled. Let me turn that on real quick. Appearance, vector JavaScript, edit, scroll down, top of the page. I want to add import script media wiki gadget delete.js. Let's do, ah, good, so that automatically showed up real quick there. Um, purge, control shift R, control shift R to reload this page. And I should now, I don't. There's my delete. So I'm going to click on delete. Do you, do you want this page deleted? No pages unused redirect with non plausible name. So I'm going to type in my reason up there and hit OK. And it says this page is tagged. I'm actually going to get rid of that alert. Oh, good morning, Agax. So let's add you to the list here. A-G-A-X-X-I-O-N. And now we're one attendee away from being able to roll. For 500 turbine points at the end of the stream. It's, ah. So because it's a redirect page, the template doesn't actually show up, but it shows up in hidden categories flag for deletion. So that's good. So good luck, plus one, plus two, plus three. Oh, plus three open like that. I didn't want it to. I wanted it there. Minus one, minus two, minus three. I can close that. I can do a what links here on each of these. See if any of them are used. There's no such thing as minus three. None of them link to any of these. Good luck plus two does link to haggle. So that one's okay. And nothing links to good luck plus one. Well, because nothing links to the minus ones, I am going to tag those for deletion. However, the plus ones are plausible typos, are, are plausible search terms. So I'm going to get rid of the minus ones. I know there's a good luck minus one, though. It's just not used. So it is a possible search term. So I'm going to cancel that. Good morning, Hazelnut. And that makes number 10. Awesome. I am happy that I'm going to be able to roll off a winner today.
So since nothing's using it, let's actually do this. Actually, let's go to template. Good luck. Yeah, you can see my fingers typing. That's cool. So edit. Let's before we get rid of those. Let's edit this template here for good luck. Let's get rid of the link to raw good luck and make it go to the redirect page. Let's just Okay. Good morning, Ed. Now we're getting there. There's a pretty awesome picture of Shu on DDO Wiki. Really? Where, where might I find that? I, I don't know anything about it. Oh, so that, that's where good luck plus zero comes in. I'm going to fix that. If it's good luck plus zero, If equals one zero, actually, no, I don't have to do that. I just changed this to one because a zero is never going to come in. Get rid of good luck plus zero. Don't ever be afraid you'll mess it up. If you mess something up, you get in touch with me. You don't need to learn to code. It's just plain text. Um, I'm working on templates right now, but they don't all. you don't have to do all templates. Start with something easy. Go to the glossary and add some, some acronyms that you know or fix typos in words or do minor things like that. You don't need to, you don't need to know how to, to code. You don't need to understand the markup and you don't have to be afraid of breaking anything. If you do something that breaks something, myself or one of the other administrators will notice it. We watch recent changes quite often. We look for things that are broken and we will fix it. Even if it means just reverting the page, undoing what you did. There, there's no need to worry about messing things up, breaking things. There's nothing that you can break that we can't fix and we enjoy fixing things. So if you break it, we will fix it. And then we will tell you, we will post on your talk page and tell you how you broke it, how to not break it next time. The only way to learn is by doing. And yes, it is really hard to read markup um, for some people. For me, it's second nature. I don't even think about the markup. It's just, it's there. It, it is what it is. But yes, never be afraid to edit. You'd never get blacklisted. We don't blacklist people. Unless you're intentionally doing things to damage the wiki, wiki like putting up um, things like um, Edward's mom is a troll or something like that, um, or something more vulgar, um, you're, not, you're, you're never going to get blocked or blacklisted. Never have to worry about that. I can reload this page. And good luck plus zero should go away. 
dropping a lot of frames today. I need to get my router moved over. I can blow it up a little bit more. I try to um, make it a little bigger for people to be able to see it. 150 tends to be optimal for most people. Um, you can always watch it later on YouTube. I do post them and post links to them on the forums. Uh, now, why is good luck plus zero? Oh, because it hasn't been deleted yet. It's just marked for deletion. All right, so greater dispelling. Let's finish the G's up here. I did. So those can both be fixed, except that's not showing up here. Perch. Strange. JavaScript doesn't seem to be working on that page. This is a history page, so I'm going to leave that one alone. Redirected from greater stability, redirected from greater sunburst, guard breaking. Reload. Purge. All right, so something's going on there. Preferences. Gadgets. Appearance, custom JavaScript. Showing on here. Purge. History back here. There we go. All right, so reload. Stability is fine. Edit, edit, reload. Purge. Why isn't it showing up on this page? Showed up on that page. And those actually don't have that. So what I gotta do is I gotta copy this, visit these three pages, edit, edit, edit. Yes, the JavaScript is, well, it's, it's not a programming language, but it is code. It, it is a scripting code. So we get guidance of char here. I'm going to have to go like this. C, guidance of char items. So I can add it to the category. So it'll show up properly. Copy. When I put it down here, I got to put this in there. Added to. Save. Scroll down. This should probably be added to misc effects, but it isn't. Added to save, close, close, close. Now when I refresh this page, You'll see that it's found on three, and you'll see that the list, the way the list was has changed. I also lost my fix there. So let's see if I can get that back. I don't understand why that's doing that. Let's take a look at this, redirect, that's good. I don't have to edit that, I don't have to edit that, that's good. 
This one has notes, which means that using the script will break it. So I'm going to manually edit that one. That one looks like it'll be good for using the script. And that one will be okay for using the script. Recent changes. Now, that didn't get saved properly, but it's in between the other two. It's pretty self-evident. Tag pages delete using deletion tagger. That's good. Oh, it looks like there's four pages in here. Oh. So that's going to have to be fixed. That shouldn't be tagged as delete. It's because there's a slash in front of the no wiki up top. I can't edit it with this, but I can edit it with... MW Gadget Delete, yes. Edit, I just need to get rid of that slash. Getting rid of that slash will take it out of the what links here for the other pages. And it will also take it out of the category that it doesn't belong in. And make sure I purge that. Okay. Oh, that one actually doesn't use notes. But I am going to manually fix it anyway. Cut. Wake up, no yawning. Okay. You can ask any question as vaguely relevant or not. I yawn all morning. That's just what I do. What's a good freely available and current? What you see is what you get HTML editor that splits out HTML5 and CSS3. I'm guessing you're looking for something like Dreamweaver, although I am not a good person to ask about that. Maybe somebody else can answer better. Um, I am actually anti-WYSIWYG editor. I, I, I am a fan of using Notepad++. This is my HTML CSS editor right here. Um, this is JavaScript. This is the unique enchantment template thing, script. Um, this is actually um, another template that I'm working on, which is template uh, named item. Good morning, Yoko. But um, yeah, I'm not WYSIWYG type person. Any info on when U29 content's released on Lamania? Yes, I know exactly when it's going to be released. Let's see if I can get the right thing here. That is when it's going to be released soon. <laughs> 
let's put Yoko in for the um, 500 turbine points. I, I am aware of that, Yoko. Um, let me do a show preview on this. And then we'll talk about that since we get 40 minutes left. Remove you? You don't want to be entered for 500 turbine points? We still have 10, so we're still good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have exactly 10. Yeah, but I said mod wasn't going to be a restriction this week. And as far as not being able to stick around to the end, I always send out the code as a private message on Twitch, so that wouldn't be a big issue either. But that's fine. Um... Template quest. Let's take a look at it. I'm not sure if we actually need to modify template quest itself. I'm thinking that we might actually only need to modify template mission info box, which does the info box portion of it. We might need to modify template quest it as far as what it passes, as far as what it passes to mission info box. Um, we'll kind of have to wait and see what it what it looks like when it shows up. Um, even I don't know what legendary what differences there will be for legendary um, quests and raids. I've actually wanted to do a a, an, a template quest mission info box revamp for a while, but I just haven't gotten to it. Um, this will be a good opportunity for it, I suppose. Um, I would like to move Mission Info Box to be a sub-template of Quest itself, so it would be template quest slash info box. Um, I also want to break out some of the other pieces, like um, the images and maps, and I want to break out some of these things I want to allow, I'm thinking of getting rid of the no edit section so people can edit just sections of this. Um, I want to make some of these automatic, like the loot section and the monster section. Um, I want to make them dynamic. Although monsters will probably need to be manually input into this template and then On the monster pages themselves, it'll populate where they come from um, using DPL. Um, but that's going to take a lot of work. I, I guess basically we'll just have to wait and see what it looks like. But yes, I agree that it does need an, uh, an overhaul. Um, at that point. Let's see if I can get this to work now. I can't, so I'll have to do it on the other one. Uh, recent changes.
gadget delete. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute, why was that adding it to that? That category wasn't added manually, it was added via template, and the template shouldn't have been adding it because it's broken up. I don't know. Not going to sweat it. Although I am going to go back here and I am going to make another little edit to that because I like having links. You'll see it's got a black die, which means that only administrators can edit it. Um, them to categories actually I'm gonna move this down um, if I copy this up here Takes you to flag for deletion. So now I can head back over here, pop that in there. So now when I check out this tip, this thing, it'll give me links here into the template. And I'm actually going to modify this to allow for instant delete template to be used. But that's going to take a little bit of work, so I'll get to that. I'm going to add a few other options to it as well. So there's that. Um, we know that can be deleted. Why is that still showing up in here? That should not be showing up in here. No wiki slash no wiki. Flag for deletion. I know I tagged it myself, but I'm going to have to do some stuff here. Unused redirect non plausible name. You can see how it changed it. Um, so I can delete this. Page name typo is good. Delete page. Gone. <sighs> These wrapping no wiki tags could should be preventing this from showing up in that category.
Well, for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this in here, which breaks up the opening. That'll fix the issue either way. Purge. And that should make that go away. Really? All right, then I'm definitely overlooking something. Oh, wait a minute. What if I do this? And then I don't think I need this. I'm, I wonder if that's what's causing it. Minor edit. Force a purge. Clear my cache. Gone. Poof. Got it. Okay. Good. So that fixes that. Hey, Yoko, I don't know if you're still there, but um, we need to get this going as well. Orphan files. Files that are unused that have been tagged for 30 days with this tag. So it's basically for, for files that aren't being used that are unlikely to be used. in the future. Um, we need to, it, it's, it, we haven't agreed to use it yet and I would like to have some kind of administrator discussion to agree to use it and I believe that it's actually on the administrator's notice board under points of interest. Not anymore, okay. Um, Let me see if I can find the discussion for that. I guess there wasn't a discussion on it. All right, never mind. I guess we're not ready for that yet. I guess I need to just start a discussion and put up a PPOI. Um. Speaking of POIs, though, I th let me check on these real quick. I believe that some of these are pretty much resolved. Let's see what the votes were. To answer Toro's question here, um, we actually have a really low amount of image storage. Um, after discussing it with Zivo a little bit about up upping our file size, um, we have enough space left for now, but 
our overall amount of space for images is just tens of gigabytes. So it's really, really low. It's like 20 gigs or something like that. Um, which is, can be filled up fairly fast. I mean, Wikipedia has, or Wikimedia Commons has, you know, terabytes worth of images. So it doesn't take long to fill up with images. Um, We don't need to, do we? I don't know why we need to generate a list from EnterWiki. We have file lists and we have file lists with, yeah, I know. I, I, I've i been working on it. <laughs> um, so that's something I still need to work on. That's something I need to work on, DPL. We actually have the ability, you gotta be quick about it. Quickly change it to 500 and hit go, or it'll time out. I actually should make a little line to set the limit to 500, but um, we can actually sort these by size. So you can see we have some zero byte files, which should probably be deleted because they're, oh, oh, so Yoko, here's the deal. I'm guessing these zero byte files are ones that are actually from EnterWiki that um, we haven't officially added to the database for moving them over yet because the images are there. So it's pulling them from the directory but it's saying that they're zero bytes, which means that they're not in the database. Um, I'm guessing that these are the EnterWiki files, all these zero, zero byte ones. So there is our list of old files from EnterWiki. That, I am going to say that. And that is um, title, special list files, and then make sure that you do limit 500 or it won't work. And then you get, we get big files here. Um, some of these can probably be deleted. They're not used. So there's four megs right there we can free up. Yeah, really. We didn't have special list files until we upgraded. And then I managed to get it, well, Yoko and I managed to get it working so that we can list all the files on the wiki. So we can actually pull up a list of all files. And I'm guessing that those zero byte ones are the EnterWiki ones. They should at very least be gone through. And the other thing we can do is we can sort by date. And I'm guessing that once we sort by date, it'll also give us a list of the really old ones, should probably be the EnterWiki ones. We can also do list of files with duplicates and delete some of the duplicates and turn them into redirects. So that way we don't have four copies of the same image. We have one copy and three redirects going to it. So we can greatly reduce the number of um, pages. We got 64 pages here that have duplicates. And some of them need to be renamed because they violate naming policy like that one. What is its duplicate? So there's clan tunnel worm JPEG and clan tunnel, tunnel worm JPEG. So we got a duplicate there. So we can just delete this one, delete. Uh, page name typo, duplicate image. 
so he can clean up stuff that way too. He uploaded it to one, realized that he used it wrong, and uploaded it to the other. All better. So we can do duplicates. We can do file list should be loaded by now, 2006. So I'm guessing a lot of these should be EnterWiki too. Um, 2009 is when I think we switched everything over. So anything that shows before 2009 is probably an EnterWiki file, or it hasn't been updated yet. Fuzzy jump, interesting. Some of these could probably be used instead of deleted. But anyways, I'm guessing that this... Peerless Ico? Really? My user icon, bugger off. <laughs> Guess what, Elliot? <laughs> Not anymore. Hmm. Well, I'm guessing that some of them and some of the old ones. Oh, so it's 10 o'clock. Um, I'm going to do my drawing now. Um, are you sure you don't want to be in for it, Yoko? <laughs> Could not be deleted because it does not exist. So there was one of the EnterWiki ones. That's what happens when you find an EnterWiki one. It does not exist, although the file itself has been deleted. But you can see that's from 2006, so... Yeah. Anyways, let's do our drawing. T today's winner is going to be Oh, didn't work. How do you enter? You comment in chat before I click on the roll for winner button. You missed out on your opportunity because you didn't contribute to the stream before I rolled. So, Agax, I'll, I'll send you your code later today as a PM on Twitch. Um, you'll receive that today. Just shrink that down for now so I don't forget. Hit up recent changes real quick. You will see me on Kenneth. Um, these new codes that I have um, have to be entered through um, myaccount.turbine.com. I'll send you some instructions with the, the PM. Um, 
great stream, everybody. I will see you on the same bat channel, or I should say on the same shoe channel at the same shoe time next week. Um, hopefully we'll get 10 participants again next week and we'll give away another 500 turn point points. Um, hopefully I'll have some more stuff figured out for scripts and we'll get some more editing done as well. Have a great week, everyone.